Summon Auto Park, or Auto Park Summon, is really an understated feature for Tesla. When people talk about Tesla, they usually focus on Auto Park, the in-car driver assistance feature, or Summon, the remote feature to bring your car to you. However, Summon Auto Park is an amalgam of both of those features, allowing you to remotely auto park your car, or as I like to say, de-summon your car. All you need to do is line your car up where you want to park it, double tap the park button at the end of the gear selector, then specify which direction you want the car to go into, forward or backwards. From there, you simply exit the vehicle, close all doors, and watch the magic happen. Here's a look at some of the best use cases for Summon Auto Park. Tight parking spaces. Ever been in a crowded parking lot and see one spot open, but you might not fit? Meaning that if you manage to park the car, either you or your passengers wouldn't just squeeze out the car to get out. Well, if that's the case, that's where Summon Auto Park can be used to get your car in while avoiding having to squeeze or avoiding you potentially dinging your door against the neighboring cars. The prerequisites for this is that your parking spot that you're looking for has to have cars to the left and right of it and a car or object behind where you'll want to park. The first thing you need to do is to configure tight parking spaces option within the Summon Auto Park customization. Once done, all you need to do is line the car up and initiate the Summon Auto Park and let the car do the rest. When it's time to go, just use the normal Summon feature from your Tesla app and get the car out of the spot, jump it and go. The only warning here is that you want to use your discretion when parking in tight public spaces as the neighboring drivers may leave before you and potentially ding or scratch your car while trying to get in theirs. So be careful with that one. The next use case is tight attached garages. Do you have a tight garage, either a one car or multi-car garage with other cars in it or maybe stuff in it? that makes it difficult for you to get in and out of your car while your car is in the garage? When dealing with garages, the primary requirement or prerequisite is that the path to your garage is not on a steep incline or decline. Summon will not work if the incline or decline is beyond a certain threshold of steepness. Assuming that that's not the issue for your driveway, then you want to turn on the home link option, allowing Summon Auto Park to open and close your garage door. If you have the home link configured right now to auto open on approach, you may want to disable that if you do not enter the house through the garage. If you enter the house through the garage, you just want to get into the house and out of the path of the car before the auto park begins. The next use case is detached garages. If you find yourself dropping your family off or even groceries uh, once you get to the house and then having to go back out and park the car in your detached garage. Well, for this use case, in addition to making sure that your driveway meets the steepness requirements, there's also another requirement that your driveway needs to be a straight path. Uh, no turns or bends allowed right now with the current iteration of Summon. Uh, that should be available with Summon Plus whenever it gets here. Uh, but if you've met those requirements and your, your driveway, or excuse me, your detached garage is in a straight path from your house, you'll also want to ensure that the back wall of your garage is no farther than 40 feet away from the house. And ensure that the distance is set in the options within the Summit Auto Park customizer. This is the use case where you'll definitely want to turn off the auto home link on approach and simply let the Summon feature deal with the home link. 
with a couple different options, see what makes sense for you. Uh, but this is again a very, very valuable feature. I don't know any other car that does that. I know a lot of people might say, oh, there's certain cars that do it. I would love to see any other car or hear about any other car that has this feature right now. It's being mass produced. I don't think there is any car that does that um, as hands-free as this uh, Tesla does it. But let me know, I could be wrong. Let me know what your results are. Let me know what your feedback is. Maybe someone knows some additional tricks. Uh, but that's it for now. We'll talk again later.